You're watching Tag TV. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I'm your host Shreya Vijay and today in our episode of My India, We'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country, stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. The land of India is blessed with rich archaeological heritage and vibrant culture. Each state of the country has numerous places that are visited by people from across the world who are mesmerized by its natural splendor and scenic beauty. Such is the small town of Orcha in Madhya Pradesh that has abundance of scenic views and a rich cultural history. Recently, the first ever Orcha festival was organized in Madhya Pradesh to promote tourism in the city. Have a look. With a vision to preserve the culture and heritage of the city of Orcha, a new festival titled Namaste Orcha was recently organized in the state of Madhya Pradesh. The festival is an initiative by the Madhya Pradesh Tourism Board to promote Orcha as a leading tourism destination in the state. Chorasi is our heritage property. जांगीर पहल के जब हम पीछे जाते हैं तो लंबी मंदिरों की चेन है जो ओरछा आने वालों को पता ही नहीं होता इसलिए छुपा हुआ ओरछा है एक नहीं अनेकों ऐसे मॉन्यूमेंट्स हैं जो जंगल के अंदर हैं ओरछा सेंचुरी भी है चार नदियां हैं तीन नदियों का संगम है और जंगल के अंदर वो टापू बनाते हैं ये सारी विशेषताएं ओरछा में हैं The festival featured heritage tours of famous temples and forts in Orcha. A number of music and dance performances were also organized, narrating the rich history of the city. Eminent personalities like Shubha Mudgal, Gohar Khan and Swara Bhaskar graced the festival with their presence. Yeah, there are lots of music groups and they're performing and collaborating with artists from Madhya Pradesh so it's going to be a, a, I mean yeah yeah it's going to be a very very good fusion and uh, I think uh, you'll, you'll really enjoy yourself. A Maharati was organized on the banks of River Betwa to offer prayers to the Holy Tributary. Today was very special. It was the first time we had to do it on the banks of Betwa. We had to do it on the banks of Betwa. We thought that we would give a tribute to Betwa and Madhya Pradesh. And I think Aditi Mangalda, Shubhaji and the prayer which came together, it was, it was beautiful for me. It was personally a very emotional moment when the prayer went up for Orcha because this town is very special. Madhya Pradesh is one of the most exciting tourist destinations in India. The city of Orcha is full of scenic beauties, falls and temples.
It has also won the Best Heritage City Award at the National Tourism Award in the year 2017-18 and is a part of the Golden Triangle Tour that covers some of the famous temples in the north. India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. Even today, the teachings of these saints inform the lives of people and this was very well reflected during the special prayers offered at the shrine of Saint Sufi Syed Abdul Aziz Shah, where people of all faiths assembled to seek the blessings of Holy Saint. Take a look. Situated in Kanpur district of Uttar Pradesh, the shrine of Sufi Saint Sayyad Abdul Aziz Shah has served as a sinusure of communal harmony for generations which is thronged by a large number of devotees every day from across the city irrespective of their religion. Regarded as one of the greatest Sufi saints, Sayyad Abdul Aziz Shah throughout his life spread the message of Sufism and peace. People of different faiths attend this shrine and offer their prayers to the saint to perpetuate his teachings of oneness and communal harmony. Coming from far and wide, these devotees attended the prayers to seek the blessings of Holy Saint. It is believed that Saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from here. Sufi Sayyad Abdul Hajiz Shah ki maja rahi hai, in se jho maango, wo milta hai. Tien chaar saal se aara hoon, jho maanga, wo mila. Aisa kuch bhi nahi hai, Hindu Muslim kuch nahi. Prof, sab to ek hai, saare roop ek hai, bas naam alag alag de diya gai hai. Chai Hindu ho, chai Muslim. Mai bhi Hindu hoon, mai bhi yaan pe aaya hoon. Since ages, the Sufi saints like Sayyid Abdul Aziz Shah have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country and their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the thread of secularism. Now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Hindu devotees, especially women in the state of Rajasthan, recently celebrated the vibrant Gangaur festival. Women wearing colorful traditional dresses, singing folk songs, dancing and performing the rituals participated in the festivities. The festival is known to be a celebration of the arrival of spring, well-being of family and children and marital fidelity. Fashion designing students use natural fabrics, upcycling and hand painting to promote green fashion and Indian fashion techniques in the recently held Bombay Times Fashion Week. Model in Miss World Asia 2019 and second runner-up Suman Rao turned showstopper for fashion students, wearing dress made of raw silk with hand painted motifs. Dress that you are seeing me right now wearing. It, uh, it has hand painting on the dress, on the outfit and is done by those women. So I'm actually, I felt really proud and uh, I'm grateful to them for choosing me to wear this particular outfit and walking on the ramp, uh, uh, slaying this outfit on the ramp. And I feel that uh, this was the best experience throughout my uh, journey on the ramp. Students from another college too used upcycling as their theme as they design dresses with scrap fabric 
one of which was worn and showcased by Indian model and beauty pageant title holder Avitri Chaudhary. The eco-conscious designers hope the trend would expand in the world and there is a need to bring in green sensibilities into their fashions. Streets in Panji town of Goa got flooded with colourful processions as artists dressed in vibrant costumes danced to the beats of drum and sang folk songs as part of an ongoing Shigmo festival that marks the onset of spring. The 14-day-long Hindu festival, Shigmotsav celebrates the beginning of spring and is a quintessential element of their state's culture. The celebrations included colourful street floats, folk music and dances including sword dance. Hundreds of performers clad in traditional outfits and colourful turbans were seen playing drums and chanting the names of various Hindu deities and performing Goa's folk dances. It's very nice, it's the first time, so we never saw these kind of parades, so it's, it's fun, a lot of dance, color, it's perfect, it's very cool. The parade also included martial art dances like Gore Morni or the horse dance, which is popular in the region. Today in our section of Asia Buzz, we will explore the beautiful beaches, streets and towns of Japan that are truly a retreat for both domestic and foreign visitors. They are not just blessed with abundance of natural beauty, but also peep into Japan's extensive past. Take a look. Kamakura, a coastal town in Kanakawa prefecture, is popular for its beach and provides visitors a glance into Japan's extensive past with its temples, shrines and other historical monuments. One of the biggest indicators of its history is a monument of Great Buddha which stands 11.4 meters tall and weighs 121 tons. This icon is one of the most famous statues in Japan and is often termed as a national treasure. Yeah, we actually been inside, you can enter. It's one of the few Buddha of Japan I think you can enter inside, so it's pretty cool. Another attraction in Kamakura is Komachi Street. It is located near the station. There are hundreds of shops, cafes and restaurants along the street. It's the best place to eat and shop for souvenirs. A lot of shops offer snacks which you can relish while exploring the place. I like Kamakura for, uh, for his beach and his uh, old, uh, old style feeling. One of the first time we come to Komachi Street, we are always usually going through the back exit of the station, going directly to the beach through the little streets. This Yuikahama beach is a hot spot for the residents and tourists all year round. It is a 3.2 km long beach located at the south coast in Kamakura city. It can be accessed from Kamakura station by walking for 20 minutes. It is a paradise for surfers during all seasons. Some tourists enjoy horse riding on the beach. Yeah, I love the, the temples and the sightseeing and uh, the beach and yeah, it's small. I like small cities a bit more because you can walk around everything. You don't have to take uh, the train or the bus or something. Kamakura is a great place to experience traditional Japan by the seaside and it's just an hour away from Tokyo. 
Next, we take you to Shimokitazawa in the capital city of Japan. It is well known for its shopping hub with many vintage, second-hand clothing and interior goods shops, theatres, live houses and cafes available for tourists to explore. The town was once a farming village and has now been turned into a residential area with a thriving young creative community. あまり見られたりもしませんし、まあ、芸能人の方歩いてても別にあまり見られたりもしませんし、何でも受け入れるって感じですね。それであの、町の人たち、住んでる方もその商売やってる方やライブハウスの方とかも応援してますし、何でも
Interestingly, there is just one priest taking care of both the temple and the Darga. His name is Sahamgar Muhammad Shah and he is serving the holy sites for the last many years. He first performs the daily rituals at the temple and after distributing the holy sacrament among the devotees, he proceeds towards Darga to perform the prayers. Striking a balance between the two, he visits both the sides to help devotees perform their respective rituals in perfect harmony. पूरा गांव तो मंदिर दरगाह पे जाते हैं मंदिर पे जाते हैं सब जगह पे आते हैं हिंदू आते हैं मुसलमान आते हैं सब आते हैं कोई कभी कोई कोई सवाल ही नहीं हुआ नहीं तो हिंदू ने किया है नहीं तो मुस्लिम ने किया है कितने साल हो गए होंगे लगभग जब से आप मेरे को तो यहाँ से अभी 20 साल हुए हैं लेकिन हमारी पेड़ी यहाँ पे पांचवी पेड़ी है यहाँ पे अभी सेवा पूजा करते करते हुए Thus, the way these holy sites of two different faiths have brought people closure to each other and have kept them united for centuries, thus make it a symbol of peace and brotherhood. who want to pull out the adventure junkie in them and give themselves an adrenaline rush, Gulmarg can be the most sought after destinations for such thrill seekers. Skiing on the snowy slopes of this beautiful hill station can make up for the most amazing experience of a lifetime. So, tapping this potential for adventure tourism in Gulmarg, ski courses have lately been introduced in the town to attract the enthusiasts. God paints in many colors, but he never paints so gorgeously as when he paints in white. Making these words of G.K. Jesterton a reality is the mesmerizing town of Gulmarg, situated in the Baramula district of Jammu and Kashmir. The snowy slopes of this town can give you the real thrills when you speed downhill with your ski accessories. Now, in order to make these experiences even more wonderful, skiing courses have been introduced lately in Gulmark, which will not just help the ski lovers to hone their skills, but will also give a required boost to adventure tourism in the town. हम यहाँ पे फ्रेंड्स बनाते हैं हम सीखते हैं लोगों को सिखाते हैं लोगों से सीखते हैं और मेरे मेरे हिसाब से जो छोटे छोटे स्पोर्ट्स इवेंट्स हो रहे हैं इसके थ्रू हमारा जो एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट्स है वो प्रमोट हो जाएगा एंड दैट विल बी अ वेरी गुड न्यूज़ फॉर अस और हम इंजॉय कर रहे हैं बहुत मज़ा आता है हमें Participants from different parts of the Kashmir Valley and across the world are enrolling themselves for the courses which are providing them training under the supervision of experts. Led by the Skiing Association of Gulmarg in collaboration with Youth Sports and Services, the courses besides enjoyment can help the youngsters to build their career in skiing, further making it a source of employment generation. इसमें तो बहुत ही बढ़िया स्कोप है पहले नेशनल्स स्टेट यहाँ पे स्टेट डिस्टिक हो रहा है फिर नेशनल्स के लिए जा सकते हैं हम नेशनल्स के बाद इंटरनेशनल के लिए जा सकते हैं उसके बाद ओलंपिक्स में हम जा सकते हैं इसमें बहुत ही बढ़िया स्कोप है स्कीइंग में इट टेक्स अ लॉट टू डेवलप अ गुड स्की स्टेशन आई नो दिस बिकॉज़ इन फ्रांस वी हैव वी हैव वी हैव मेनी स्की स्टेशंस टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड अ लॉट ऑफ किलोमीटर्स ऑफ स्लोप्स so i think uh, it's still a, a while until gulmarg or other stations in india can become very big as skiing is a popular adventure sport and gulmarg boasts of being the india's leading ski resort introducing such courses will not just help in drawing the adventure seekers to the town but also in promoting its tourism industry That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at mindya at nin.com. I'm your host Shreya Vijay and it's goodbye from the entire production team.